Media critic Gary Deeb is here now with the tales of an important milestone in that show's history. Are we going to march around the breakfast table once again? Uh, I used to do that once in the blue moon. I sure did, did too. too. It was more, it was actually 60 years ago exactly today. And one of the all-time most popular radio programs began its long run here in Chicago, Don McNeil's Breakfast Club. It got carried from coast to coast on 400 stations. The Breakfast Club ran from 1933 to 1968, five and six days a week, a total of 35 years. It was a forerunner of modern morning radio, and Don McNeil, the man who created it, got saluted this morning for being such a radio pioneer. Don McNeil and his breakfast club, and here is your Toastmaster, Don McNeil. For a couple hours in the actual hotel where the program originated during its heyday, listeners, friends, and family relived the breakfast club experience. It was a return to the spotlight for 85-year-old Don McNeil, the man who some say invented morning radio. Well, when I first started the, the show, they had a requirement there that everything had to be written out and no ad living. McNeil well, chafed against that restriction, you know, we finally the convinced the boss to let him was, wing uh, it. I went on the air and, and said to you people listening, uh, uh, I'd like to have you just send a card or a letter and say I listen to the show. <laughs> so I went in there a couple of days later with some 40,000 of them. <laughs> <That's funny. laughs> he said, okay, okay. Gee, it's great to see you around the breakfast table this morning. There was no drive time in 1933. Uh, in fact, there were very few radios in cars in 1933. And so Don McNeil was a, had a program to get you started in the morning, but then the husbands went off to work, and the women and the kids so were at home uh, for most of the show. Today, June 23rd, 1953, the Breakfast Club is 20 years old, and I wish I could say the same. Of course, now at, at my advanced years, most people have forgotten about the Breakfast Club, but not their mothers and not their dads. And these fellows were not singers on the old Breakfast Club, but they're here today to recreate the feeling of what it was like. Maybe I'll live a life of regret. Maybe I'll give much more than I'll get. It was warm, it was folksy, it was friendly. Yeah, well, nothing was difficult about it, about it at all. It, it became a, a beautiful way of life for me. It was corn with a capital C, uh, the same C they used in Classy, because the Breakfast Club was middle America, a salute today to Don McNeil, the man who pioneered morning radio, and he began doing it 60 years ago today.